Hey guys, opening doors and laying floors here. No, I'm just joking. Anyways, I'm putting in some tack strip. I'm just going to show you guys how I install tack strip. <clears throat> so the rule of thumb, or finger if you want to call it, is you just want to have a fingertip away. So that's about how far you're going to go back on your gap. Make sure you got the same down here. Okay. Then I'm just going to use my eyeballs to mark by the nails where I'm going to break my tack strip off with my hammer. And it just basically needs to be rough cut. And here's the critical part. I have brand new baseboard here. This new construction, beautiful, nice house. Even if it wasn't though, you want to watch the baseboard. So what you want to do is you want to get parallel to what you're working with, okay? It's all about your body position when it comes to something like this. Really, anytime you're working with your hands with something dangerous or sharp, you want to always use your body language, your, your, um, the uh, position, body positioning to what I call, I call it ninja mode. I'll get into ninja mode. I'll position my body just correctly, just right, and that way I won't ever hit the baseboard. I'll nail one end, nail the other end, then I'll fill it in. Just, usually it just takes one hit of the hammer. It's done. The corner you want to be a little more delicate because you gotta go, you got sometimes you have to face it just to get it started. Continue on. Don't forget to nail each end before you fill in. Always be real careful of that baseboard. Don't want to hit that. Only amateurs do that. I've never actually done it myself. Do you believe that? <laughs> Everybody's done it once or twice, but you want to practice somewhere where you have like finished drywall or you know in a basement up against a brick wall. You know, or just put a put a little piece of cardboard or wood back here if you're really not sure, you know, and you really want to protect your baseboards. Just gotta be careful with that. Really, really common mistake, and you wanna you wanna have your baseboards on before you do tack strip, so that when you replace the carpet in the future, you don't have to pull your baseboards off. Makes enough sense, right? Just continue around the room. They, they make tack strip cutters, and some people have seen use tin snips. And just <clears throat> pretty much, it's a waste of time and effort. And honestly, money. If you go and waste money on a pair of tack strip snips. tack strip up against that lip because it's not going to be the right distance away. Plus I want plenty of room to tuck my carpet down in. So I'm just going to nice and easy cut this tongue off.
come right off. A little stubborn. This is thick laminate flooring here. It'll come. Love these little fiber ones. Really handy. Sometimes I'll start people out in a closet <clears throat> if it's their first time doing tax strip. But honestly, in a brand new house, I'm even hesitant to do that. I know people have to learn at some point, but...
I can't pay for new baseboard to be installed. Just to teach someone. Okay, just a few more pieces. Let me think of anything I missed. Or anything I forgot to say or anything. Okay. Oh, okay, I forgot to say one thing. You always want to have their arrows on the tack strip. So you always want to have your arrows facing toward the wall. And it even says it on the tack strip. Place arrows toward wall. Do not want to have backwards tack strip or you're defeating the purpose of tack strip. Here we go. Last piece in here. One room. Uh, tack strip completely done. Okay, now we'll go to our next room. Are you done? Is it done? Video done?